Welcome. My name is Patrick Rolf and this is Coffee with April. By now, you have realized that we're in a very different setting than what we're used to. We're not in the April headquarters, we're actually in my apartment. And why is that? Well, it's because I'm about to launch a new concept here on the YouTube channel. And don't worry, we're going to continue to do the videos that we have been doing up until now. We're just in the process of finishing that new studio and then everything will go back to normal. But on top of that, we're going to see new videos coming up as well. Something that I've been really excited about and wanting to do for quite some time now that we're kind of trying to figure out how to do in the best possible way. What we're going to do is because I'm out traveling anyhow around the world. And one of the things I'm really curious about ever since I launched the April Brewer is that I want to actually visit people and see how are they actually using it. So how are they brewing with April Brewer and not in a professional coffee shop. I want to see what home brewers around the world are actually doing. So what I'm going to start doing, and I thought it would be fitting to introduce this in my own home, is that I'm going to start visiting home brewers around the world that is using this. So any kind of version of the April Brewer. And we're going to together basically just brew a cup of coffee, hang out a little bit, talk about how they're brewing, why they're brewing it like that, why they're not brewing it like that. Kind of like a fun open conversation because one of the things that I've learned over the years we've seen in the World Championship is that home brewers sometimes are actually the best brewers. And we see some of the most innovative, different, and always inspiring ways of brewing. And I want to share that with all of you. And I want to go around and be inspired myself. So what's really important with these videos is that one, these are going to be shot in a different format, not the same as in the roastery. So this is basically me and my phone, right? We're going to have background noise that's a little bit disturbing. We're going to have lighting that definitely isn't perfect. We're going to be in people's homes, not in studios. So expect a slightly different vibe to it. We're still going to try to edit it as good as we can and make it really interesting for you. But this is not going to be high end camera material with the perfect mic setup and the perfect lighting. It's just not what we're trying to do here. What we're trying to do is to give you an authentic experience, an idea of how people around the world is using this to brew coffee. I'm very excited about it and I hope that you guys are as excited as I am. Now to kind of kickstart this, I thought I'd brew some coffee as well and show you a little bit about my home setup here in Copenhagen. So first of all, April Brewer. Uh, a lot of you have not seen the yellow versions. So this is a custom version that we're doing together with Low Quad and Kumquat in LA. Super nice guy. Checked it out if you want to get one of those. It's exclusively available through them. So what I'm going to do is one of my kind of standard recipes. The coffee that we're using, one of my favorite roasteries, you all know that by now. We can look at it here, Tim Menebo, one of his fresh cups, Kenyan, which tend to be from season to season, actually the best tasting Kenyan coffees. Um, he's very good at sourcing in Kenya. I think we all know this by now. His style of roasting fits these coffees really well. So I always make sure to have some with me uh, so that I can brew them. So a little bit about the setup. So I'm using actually Fellow and a Kaya, I guess. So standard Akaya scale. Um, using fellow kettles, same that we do in the store. One of my favorite kettles, really easy to pour from. I brew a lot of tea at home as well, so keeping track of that temperature is really important. Obviously as well when it comes to coffee. Today I'm gonna to use 92 degrees Celsius. Um, using a fellow odd generation two grinder, also one of the favorite grinders that I have at home. It is a little bit messy. I've said that quite a few times and I always appreciate when grinders are a little bit cleaner, especially when you're at home, but it produces a great result. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take 13 grams of Tim Benebo's coffee and we're gonna grind that through at 5.1, I'm gonna to choose to call it on the grinder. So please bear with me. That's done. We're making sure we're tapping out that coffee. And then we're basically ready to go here. Paper filter, April paper filter with April Brewer. Always my go-to. The paper filter is specifically designed for the brewer. And it's the paper filter that fits the brewer the best, which makes sense because it's made for it, right? 
So we're going to start by rinsing the paper filter, which I know these days is a conversation. And I'm going to be one of those that actually still does it. We're making sure to rinse this uniformly. If I was in a competition setup, I would have been weighing the amount of water I pour on this filter. I'm not in a competition setup. I'm at home, so I'm not going to be doing that. Server to brew into, April server. And here is basically how we're going to do it. So we're going to start by dozing. Making sure we have that 13 grams of coffee. 92 degrees Celsius on the water. And then we're going to start first by shaking out those grounds. Make sure it's leveled. Make sure we put the timer on and then first pour 100 grams. Circle motion here. Again, we're trying to cover that coffee bed as evenly as possible up until 60. And then I'm going to transition into a center pour all the way up to 100 grams. That's pretty much it. Step one, I'm going to let this sit for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to basically do that same pour again. Now, one of the things that's often discussed when it comes to home brewing is going to be water. What kind of water are we using? Now here in Copenhagen, water is actually really bad. So what I'm doing, and I'm actually done for quite a few years now, is that I'm using third wave water. So they're classic kind of mineral blend. There is a lot of different mineral blends out there on the market. We all know this by now, but I tend to gravitate to that being the best one pretty much. Now they recommend, I think one pack per a gallon, something like that. I do it one pack to five liters of water, which fits really well. Here in Copenhagen, you can go to like a local convenience store and just get demineralized water, add five liters, super easy. You take it home, you pop in one of those mineral packs, you just shake it, leave it overnight, and then you're kind of good to go. So that has been my go-to style of brewing uh, pretty much since I moved to Copenhagen now, so for seven years. So it's actually a pretty decent way to do it. So we finished off the second pour here. We're making sure that all the grams works. We're making sure that everything is just the way we should. And this is just going to continue uh, to basically go down. And while it does that, I just kind of want to share again, what is the concept here, right? So what we're going to see is a little bit almost traveling style videos where I'm traveling anyhow for the April Brewers Cup, for consultancy, for different April projects. And I'm going to take that opportunity to ask all of you to see if you want to invite me home to come and brew some coffee. It's basically not more complicated than that. I'm going to come. I'm going to let the homebrewers show their recipe here, right? So it's all about them. It's not about me interfering with what they're doing. I might ask some questions because I think it's interesting, but it's really about allowing them showcase the way that we're doing it. So Keep in mind, these guys are not professionals. They're going to do a lot of different stuff that maybe you and me wouldn't do when we brew at home or in a coffee bar. But this, again, is all about keeping that open mind, learning. We can always learn from everyone in any kind of shape or form, right? So keep everything nice in terms of comments. We need to be very supportive. These are really nice people. They kind of open up their house for us to come in and for you guys to actually experience a new perspective of coffee and also get more insight in how people are brewing with the April Brewer around the world, right? So now we're at 2 minutes 50 here and we're basically done. So one of the things that is, is really cool with again with Tim's coffees here, right, is that you always have this kind of crispness to it. You know that over the years I've been Let's say complaining a little bit about the Kenyan coffees becoming a little bit more earthy, a little bit more herbal, which I think is true in, in this case as well, but it still maintains more of the kind of positive stuff, right? So before we drink this, we need a cup. Now I am going to use the April Brewer's Cup at home. The yellow one is very fitting because we have a yellow brewer. I think just as a as far as a home brewing setup goes, this is a really simple setting. You can go a lot more expensive. I could go a lot more expensive to be fair, but very often I find that a simple setup is going to allow you to brew just as tasty coffee as most of the 
kind of advanced higher end expensive stuff. You need to know what you pay for and you need to find a price range that kind of motivates and fits what you're trying to do in terms of brewing tasty coffee, right? Now, with this, I just want to thank you for watching and I hope you keep an open mind and think that this new product is as exciting as I think. What we're going to do is we're basically going to mix both videos from the new studio, the roastery, together with me kind of traveling around the world doing these kind of home brewing videos as well, right? So if anything, you're going to get a more diverse content and you're going to get a really real and authentic content, which we always try to do, but this is even more since we're actually getting out in the world. Now, again, keep in mind, we're filming this with an iPhone. We're having a simpler setup. There's no lights, there's no other stuff. So the quality here is going to come out a little bit different, but we believe that the content is going to be so interesting that it's actually going to be worth it. So as usual, if you want to know what I'm traveling next, what I'm up to, if you maybe want to be one of those homebrewers that we come and visit, then sign up for Patreon, make sure you're there. That's where we communicate. That's where we're looking for those home brewers. So make sure you sign up, join the conversation. And with that, I'm excited to kind of bring this new chapter of the April YouTube videos to you very, very soon in a format with home brewers all around the world using that April Brewer. Now with that, just want to say thank you for watching and see you soon again. We want to give a special thank you to all of our Patreon supporters. It's because of you that we are able to continue to make these videos. And we want you all to feel free to always come with suggestions and ideas on the content that you want to see because we are doing this for you and because of you. Thank you from all of us here at April.